event. Nine years of lust and betrayal come to a climax. Falcon Crest is mine. The series finale of Falcon Crest. Then, one romance reignites. I love you. Oh, Val. While another goes down in flames. We cannot find the groom. The season finale of Knox Landing after the last Falcon Crest. Thursday. Corky's getting married, but will she be happy with her new name? Corky Sherwood Forest. <laughs> Murphy Brown. Ben, play at home with those designing women, and you're in quadruple jeopardy. Phobias for 20. Hippophobia is the fear of this. Large hips! Designing women. And Dixie Carter goes face-to-face -face with Connie Chung, all tonight. This is CBS. If you or someone you love has been seriously injured in a car or motorcycle... Reopen. Exclusively on the next hard copy. Tonight at 7 on 2. Okay, you think it's a star? Oh, uh, no, he's choking on that cookie there. You know the Heimlich maneuver? Yeah. Yeah, we'll try it quick. It's not working. All right, all right, lay him down on the floor on his back. Hurry up. Loosen his shirt and tie. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Check his mouth. Tom. What? Go over there and roll the paper towels. Pick it up. Put it over here. We need him to elevate his head. Dude, next to the oven, there's a drawer. Where? Where? Right under his head. Adam, what? What? The drawer next to the oven. I need a sharp knife. Hurry up. You're going to have to perform an emergency tracheostomy. What? A trache what? Oh, just do it. Hurry up. Should I sterilize? No, no, there's no time. Well, see those straws over there on the counter? Yeah. We need one of those for a breathing tube. Now get it over here. Oh. Call an ambulance. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah, all right, all right. No, I can't do it, so I'm going to have to talk you through it, okay? Hates. Now look at yes, him. Yes, there's a man I don't think I can. No, 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 you have to, or he's going to check you down. Now look at me. Look at me. You need to make a vertical incision right below the Adam's apple. It's about an inch long, an inch deep, through the cricoid cartilage, okay? Right along the trachea. Do it now. Slowly. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm really sorry. I've just been holding that back for a very long time. Well, that's why I wanted to come down here and I wanted to talk to you about our situation. Oh, John, we don't have a situation. It was over a long time ago, even before you went back to Lucinda. Because, frankly, I'm not masochistic enough to want a man. Just get out of here, okay? You know, Susan, we have such a long history, you and me. It's kind of hard just to walk out of here when I see you in such pain. Well, I'll get over it. I always do. I'm used to it. You know something? You're not really as tough as you want us all to believe. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, golly, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, honey, your mom says been, you've just been so sweet with Chris while I've been gone, which made me feel a lot less guilty about leaving you two guys alone while I tried to help Andy. How's he doing? Oh, that's a long story. Let's talk about that later. What I really want now is for you to hold me so we can just start catching up on lost time. Oh, honey, I love you so much. I love you, too. As the world turns. Deli Select from Hillshire Farm. Deli Select is lean cuts of premium meats. It's fresh. Deli Select is deli sliced thin. And deli packed for fresh taste. It's fresh. Deli Select looks fresh and tastes fresh. Deli sliced, deli packed. Deli Select from Hillshire Farm. It's fresh. In over half the homes in America, this is yours. You'll find Kenmore appliances. <laughs> because no other brand can outdazzle a Kenmore. There's something in the fridge. David. Only at Sears and Sears Brand Central.
this soap, they say, the little people put a spell on it so the scent of it could last a man clean through the day. Ah, capture the last incentive. Irish spring deodorant soap. The Irish never quit. I can't resist the touch. I can't Now hair that's sprayed can, can be beautiful to touch. No, I can't resist the less. I can't no. resist the Whether you need a little hold or a lot, new finesse hairspray with a touch of conditioner keeps hair touchably soft. New finesse hairspray, the hold that loves to be held. <laughs> you really look so tired, sweetheart. I haven't slept very well lately. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I, I hear you have the rest of the afternoon off anyway. Honey, you go ahead and if you want to. Come on, sit down, sit down. Let's be just together for a few minutes. Listen, before I forget, first of all, I think we should take your mother up on her offer. What offer is that? Well, that she'll watch Chris, uh, and you and I can take a few days off together. Oh, I, I thought you and John had therapy sessions with Andy next week. Yeah, well, we do, but right after that. Actually, I haven't had a chance to tell you they want you to come up and be part of the sessions, too. Why? Well, because you've been a father figure to Andy, and you've been a major influence in his life. Listen, I know you feel that you were cut off while John and I were trying to deal with Andy's problems, but Look, uh, no reason to rehash all of that. It's pointless. I wish you'd let me go to Park Forest with you. Well, sweetie, it's not as if I didn't appreciate the offer. You know that I did. It's just that with the animosity between you and John, it's, it's, it's impossible to deal with. I mean, how could we have accomplished what we went up there for. I think you're right. It's probably not a good idea to go back over all of that. Anyway, I just got back from the Pampered Palette. I got us a really nifty lunch. We can go out on the terrace uh, and eat. We Tom just called from Lila's. Dan's over there. Some, apparently something that he ate got caught in his throat. Is he all right? I, I think so. Casey talked Duke through a tracheostomy and the ambulance is on the way, but I've got to get to the hospital. Well, I'll drive you. Listen, I'll call Joyce and get her to come and stay with uh, Christopher. I'll be there as soon as I can. Good, good. The color's coming back into his face. That means the air's getting to his lungs. Hang in there, Mac. Uh, keep blowing on that regular intervals till the mags get here, okay, dude? I can't believe you saved this life, man. You did it. Man, I can't believe what I just walked in on. No, I know why I'm not a doctor. I couldn't have done what Duke did. I couldn't even barely stand to watch. Still have some things. Hi. Oh, God, what happened? Duke just performed his first tracheostomy. Well, this is something I can do. No, you could have used you earlier, but old cool hand Duke here's got it all under control. He's gonna make a great surgeon, and here is the proof. Hey, did, did you uh, did you call Nancy? Yeah, I told her that we'd wait till Mac went me to the hospital. Wait a minute here, Sam. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll go with here. You what happened? You go. Uh, well, he's choking on a piece of food. We had to perform an emergency tracheostomy. Duke gets all the credit. You know, like Casey coaching me. Oh. Don't worry, it'll be as good as new in no time. You know, I, I don't know what to say. Watch Duke, you were incredible. Yeah, you really were. You really, really were a thing. No, it's all over. My hands are shaking like crazy. Yeah. Look, uh, let's get to the hospital. I don't want Pam waiting there alone. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with you guys. Make sure he's okay. Hey, yeah. keep me posted, would you? All right. I will. All right. <sighs> Thank God you were here to get Duke through all this. Well, you know, I didn't even have time to think of myself about how frustrating it was not to be able to do it. And all I could think of was how to get what was in my head into his hands, you know? I mean, what a rush of adrenaline to see the color come back into his face when he started blowing on that straw. It was wild. You know, it made me realize that I, I might not be able to save another man's life, but I can still teach others how to do it damn straight. God, it's a great feeling. Darling, I called and they said you were back and I was so overjoyed I dropped everything to rush over. How about a hug? Hmm? I was talking with Susan. Well, I've said all I have to say. I've got a lot of stuff to log into my computer, so... Did you have a good vacation, Susan? Yeah, I had a great time. Oh, look, I'm just gonna go get some lunch. Okay. Well... 
I get that hug now? Of course you do. Oh, mm. darling, can you tell me what that was all about? Hmm? I treated her rather shabbily when you and I were separated. I just wanted to tell her that I, you know, I felt bad about it, that I, we have a good working relationship, and I hope we can get past all of that. You're such a nice man. She didn't leap to it? She told me where to go. I deserved it. You're so serious. You got too much on your mind. You got plenty dealing with Andy right now. Just forget about her. And she doesn't look very well after her vacation either. There's something troubling her, and I can't help but feel responsible. I don't want to uh, bruise your male ego, darling, but she's moved on, you know, since you transferred her affection. She's doing her business in another bank. Well, you know what I'm talking about, and another woman's husband, Bob. Dust. It's everywhere. So don't scatter it with a dry cloth. Turn your dust cloth into a dust magnet. With end dust. End dust works like a dust magnet. Everywhere. There's a little something for everyone. One for me. Oh, maybe two. Let me ask you something. Why pay more for pink or blue packets when they're Sugar Twin? Sugar Twin costs less, tastes great, sweetens my coffee perfectly. So why pay more? Sugar Twin. Sweet taste, sweeter price. Old King Cole was a sad little soul, for a wet and leaky diaper had he. So he called for one that could help stop leaks. Tis Huggies, my lord, for thee. Now Kleenex Huggies Super Trim Diapers have leakage control shields that help block leaks like no other diaper. They form a unique double barrier for leakage protection that's fit for a king. Now Huggies are the royal choice. They truly make this king rejoice. Huggies, happily ever after. Danny DeVito Ellie! and Billy Crystal have a plan. I kill your wife, you kill my mama. That's fair. The comedy smash throw mama from the train Tuesday. America's kids send a message to the president. Eat your broccoli. You eat your broccoli or else I'm going to spank you. From the mouths of babes, it's small time Friday. Why are you so jittery, Snyder? What do you Snyder? think I'm so jittery about? I think Lucinda's going to come in here any minute. Don't worry. She said she was going to convince John to take the day off. Well, she said to use the office. Took her up on her offer. Well, when I run this place... I'm gonna have you up here with me. Maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get one of those big partners' desks. What do you think about that? Kirk. What? We work together, we live together, we live together, we work, we gotta get away from one another so that we have something to talk about. Oh, well, you wanna talk, do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you when I go to Maine. I'm gonna miss you too. I think it'll be good for us to get away, you know? I can go over and spend the night with Iva at the farm and have a good talk with her. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. But now, what am I going to tell Stephen and Linda Ann about the changes in my life? You know, Kirk, maybe, uh... Maybe you shouldn't tell them just yet. I mean, they were very close to Ivan, and it might be confusing for them. They're young. All right. Well, I just don't want to keep the truth from them for too long, because I don't want to lose their trust again. And they're going to be out of school in about a month, so I'm going to try and get Lenore to let them visit us. That way, you can get to know them. I do. I want to get to know them. I really do. I just... What? Well, could you just... Give me a little time to think about it before you invite them. I don't want to confuse them. Sure, I'll give you time. But don't take too long, because i got to get on a plane tonight. What's bothering you, really? Saved by the bell. Yes, Jane? You bet I'll take it. Yeah. Gavin Kruger! No! Mr. Kruger, Kirk Anderson. Good to hear you. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, does this mean you're going to be coming to Oakdale? 
every time Duncan would look at that white rose that Gavin sent me, mm -hmm. I could see that familiar shade of green in his eyes, so I threw it away this morning. It was really too bad because it was so pretty and in bloom. Oh, well, that's a very small sacrifice for the man you love. Besides, I don't blame Duncan for being a little bit jealous. Oh, Lisa, I haven't seen Gavin in years, and Duncan doesn't even know him. Shannon, don't you understand? It's the unknown that is so threatening. Hi, Lisa. I didn't expect to see you here. I came to see my niece and to uh, bring over a donation from fashion. Well, how sweet of you. I'm sure that the kids will really appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, your grandmother said that she wants uh, to set up a schedule so she can start tutoring the kids. Oh, you know, that is a great idea. Ellen called earlier and she wants to do the same thing, so I think that'll really work out well. Hey, sweet. hey how was your session Hi. with Scott Trumbull? You know... It went a lot better than I expected. I think his hearing about Andy battling with his own addiction really hit home with him. Mm. How are things going with Sean? And how are things working out with that tacky woman in her palimony suit? Not so great. Oh, that's not too bad. Well, 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 that sounds like my handsome husband. Hello. Hello. Please tell me those sunglasses are not hiding a bruised eye. Uh, they are not. Ever since Gail's been on television, I've been traveling. Yeah, yeah. Incognito. Listen, have you had some lunch? So? Yes, I'm starving. I haven't eaten. Oh, well, uh, I have a couple of sandwiches here I picked up from the deli. <laughs> and what is that? What did you get? Yeah, we got a little tuna fish, got a little salami. Oh, they're both my favorite. Can I have half of each? Well, if you misbehave yourself, you can. I've got a wonderful idea. It's such a beautiful day. Why don't we all go up to the knoll and have a picnic? I know that Lotta has made some fresh baked tarts. Mm, mm, yes, sounds come good. on, join us. I would love to join you, but I can't. I want to go back and see if Kim has come home yet. Oh, wait, may I call her from here? Sure. Wait, wait. Uh, Lisa, if yep. you get a hold of Mom, I really need to speak to her, too. Oh, all righty. Well, I just want to see us for this. Joyce? <laughs> Hi there. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Mrs. Mitchell. Is Mrs. Hughes there? Yes. Uh, what? Human. When? Oh, uh, uh, look, uh, uh, Mac has been taken to the hospital. And uh, Nancy and Cam and Bob are all over there with them. And now, the one and only Planters presents Everybody Loves the Nut. We jump into chance to have Planters lightly salted nuts. So here's our version of Double Dutch. Wow! Nice job! Thank you! Thank you! As the great taste of planters proves, we're the reason why everybody loves a nut. <laughs> Old Squarehead laughed at my odd diamond head, but he couldn't clean better or more comfortably. So he left, and Peggy moved him. Colgate Plus, the odd-looking, super-cleaning, comfy-feeling toothbrush. Shh. I want to make my hair look like my sister's. Real by shampoo. Five special ingredients, three to clean, two for manageability. You used my shampoo. How'd you know? Fabulous hair. VO5, makes your hair do what you want it to. I get a little shiver just thinking about it. Chilling news. Tropicana Twister is now available frozen. Sounds like a snow job. New frozen Tropicana Twister. Flavor combinations Mother Nature didn't plan on. Well, if that wouldn't frost you. Deliciously frigid flavors like orange peach. Boys, we're gonna have to put this thing on ice. New frozen Tropicana Twister. Flavors Mother Nature never intended, but should've. That'll be a cold day in Tucson. I have seen the light. Guiding light, that is. Between the Lewises, the Spaldings, and Roger Thorpe, there's nothing but trouble brewing in Springfield. It's hot action and satisfaction you can't afford to miss. See the light, guiding light. It's wilder than ever. Weekdays. Okay, here you go, Graham. Oh, we're gonna you. hear something real soon. Thank heaven you were there. Duke. Well, all the credit goes to Casey. Hey, don't be so modest. I couldn't have done what you did. Nancy. Oh, Kim Ellen, called and told me what happened. I got over here as soon as I could. Any news? He's still in the operating room with Dr. Bolton. You know, eye, your nose, and throat. Bob's in OR with him. He's going to let us know when they're done. How did it happen? Well, Max stopped over at Lila's, and he was eating a cookie, and... He started to choke, and Duke administered the Heimlich maneuver, which didn't work, so basically Casey had him do an operation right on the kitchen floor. Duke, good heavens. 
You did that? <laughs> I've never been so scared in all my life. <laughs> Bob. How's Dan? Well, thanks to Duke and Casey, he'll be fine. We'll keep oh, him overnight just for observation. <sighs> Great. I'm gonna call Lyle and Casey, tell them Max okay. Uh, Dad, I need to talk to you before you leave the hospital. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna check on Leanne while you're in with Mac, and then can we meet back here? Well, I don't know how long I'll be. It could be a while. Well, you know, I have some paperwork that I can finish up on. I'll just wait here till you're available. Okay, but you may have to wait. Okay. May I see Dan? Well, just for a minute, Mom. He's in recovery. Oh, you want me to come with you? Oh, yes. What'd you do? Okay. Well, now that I've got you here alone, what's all this business about you refusing a promotion? Did Mac tell you that? He assumed that you had already discussed it with me, so... Why hadn't you? Well, because I realized it all on my own. And it wasn't fair to take on additional responsibilities if I'm gonna get pregnant and take a long maternity leave. So I told Mac to offer it to Hal. Because, hey, he deserves it as much as I do. Hmm. And the extra work will take his mind off Barbara, okay? Yeah. So you gonna go visit Lynn because I gotta get back to the station and tell everybody that Mac is okay. It can't work out so well. God. Hi, 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 guys. John. Hello, hello. When did you get back? Just about an hour ago. I heard about Mac. Is he okay? Yeah, he's gonna be fine, thanks yeah. to Duke. How's Andy? Well, they wouldn't let Kim and myself in to see him. In the beginning, you know, he's yeah. in detox. The, the first few days are very rough, but uh, I think he made it through okay. Yeah. How's Leanne doing? She's getting better. I'm on my way to see her right now. Excuse me. So, Mac's gonna be okay. Oh, glad to hear it. Now, I had every confidence in you, and I was right. <laughs> well, I owe it all to you. I wish my professors were half as clear in the classroom. <laughs> I don't think you should repeat what you told what? me earlier about Bob and Susan, because I think that's just crazy. Well, it isn't crazy. He went up, Bob went to Foxwood Lodge on an emergency for Susan, and he stayed the night. Huh? Hey, Duke, Duke, wait a minute, wait a minute. I heard about Mac. I'm very proud of you. Oh, thanks. I guess I inherited some of my pop's traits after all. Oh, you did, yeah. You gotta run. <laughs> hi. Oh, Duke, hi. How's Mac doing? Uh, he's in recovery now, but he's a lot better. Oh, good. Listen, have you seen Bob anymore? Oh, yeah, he went to take Mrs. McCluskey to see the lieutenant. Oh, well, I guess I'll just wait for him here, then. Uh, actually, you might have a long wait, because I know the DA wanted to meet with him, and Bob said he's not sure when he's going to get back. Hey. Father, oh, what a nice surprise. What are you doing here this time of day? Well, Mac gave us quite a scare over at Lila's. He was choking on some food. Casey talked Duke through some emergency surgery, and... Duke saved his life, and Mac is going to be just fine. Well, thank goodness. I can't believe Duke did that. Well, I couldn't either, and I was so nervous I couldn't even dial the phone. But Duke kept his cool. He did everything Casey told him to do. He turned out to be a real hero. Oh, man's exaggerating. Casey uh, deserves all the credit. <laughs> uh, don't listen to him. Because Mac wouldn't be with us right now if Duke hadn't been there. And I wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it. Thanks. This means a lot to me. Thank you. Sweetie, listen, I'm gonna go down there and catch Dad before he leaves the hospital. I'll stop by and see you later. Okay, give Mac my love, huh? Thanks again. Yeah. Okay. Bye. See ya. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I would have cut somebody's throat a lot sooner if I thought that would be the way to get to your father's oh, side. Oh, Duke. <laughs> You know, it takes a lot to get my father's respect. You should be very proud of yourself. Well, enough about me. How are you feeling? Much better. Oh, of course, I'm very worried about my final exams. Leanne, how many times do I have to tell you to stop worrying about your exams? You know, I talk to your professors. They say your grades are so good, you don't even have to take two of your finals, and you got extensions on the rest. I know. Oh, guess what? Dr. Phelan says that I may be able to get out probably, oh, day after tomorrow. Terrific. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you better rest up once you get home, you hear me? Well, aren't you going to be around to make sure that I do? You bet. Unless you have any objections. None whatsoever. Careful. Yeah. Yeah. Careful. Careful. Here I come. Hi. Oh, 
Oh, you startled me. I'm sorry. This took Mom in to see Mac in recovery. Have you seen Kim? Yeah. We didn't really have time to talk. Mom came in, told us about Mac, and we rushed over here. Look, you know, the more I think about it, the more I am convinced that telling Kim would be the worst thing you can do. I have no choice. Bob, I know how much you value honesty. But I truly believe that this is one time when honesty won't help. It's just going to hurt your marriage. Please, I, I'm, I'm, I've got all the guilt I can handle. Susan, what happened between us, right or wrong, happened because of real feelings. Nice to know we've made a lot of friends by spreading a lot of fun. Go ahead, make a wish. <laughs> you know, when we first introduced, Jimmy Dean Many Burgers had no idea they would become as popular as they are. Most everywhere we sell them, we sell more than anybody else. Jimmy Dean Many Burgers. What's great about Reynolds Wrap is it's so strong. After you've cooked with it, it cleans up in a flash. Nothing works like Reynolds Wrap. The heat wave continues another hot day. Make sure you have plenty of something. When it comes to 100% instant iced tea refreshment, more people choose Nest Tea over any other. Take the Nest Tea Plunge. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Will major orders mean a major move? Polly and the kids in Okinawa. Okinawa? Okinawa? Where the wind comes sweeping down the plane? An all-new Major Dad. Then, Newhart only has two shows left, and look who's talking. Dick! Baby Steph called me Dick. I wonder what she wants. Newhart, the last laughs tonight. This is CBS. Okay, here, here I am. 29 years old, and I, I'm so fat it's even hard to get out of bed in the morning. And I just knew at that point that I had to do something. I just didn't want my, my kid growing up and thinking, gee, you know, Dad can't do anything with me. And the one-on-one -on -one, uh, personal counseling is what we really, you know, really like about Jenny Craig and what makes it so special. I'm ready to be able to hold the baby, have it be a part of my life. Now you can lose all the weight you want for only a $185 service fee. Call 1-800-76-JENNY. There's a new game in town. It's called The Game. Just pick up the phone, call 1-900-226-2000, and be the first to answer a question in each of seven rounds. It's only $2.99, and if you punch in the winning answers, you could win a million dollars. Call now, because getting rich is the name of the game. You know, I've always said when it comes to barbecue sauce, thicker's better. Now Kraft has made its original barbecue sauce even thicker. So you get more of that just plain good Kraft taste on your food. And I think that's better. I know that's better. Hollywood ex-wives tell all next to Alder. And now part two of As the World Turns. Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Lucinda said you might be here. Oh, really? Yeah. How's Mac doing? Well, uh, he's still a little groggy from the anesthesia. Mom wants to stay until uh, she can talk to him. Oh. Well, I'd kind of like to see him, too, if you think it's okay. Well, sure. Why don't we get a cup of coffee, and by then maybe they'll put him in a room. Uh, Mr. Mal, I'm going to talk to Susan for a minute. Excuse me, Susan, I suppose you've heard that Andy's just 
going through his first few days of detox. Yes, John told me. And if he's made it through uh, withdrawal, then there's a pretty good chance that the program's going to work for him. Oh, I certainly hope so. Uh, when John and I were up in Park Forest, it was really the first time I've had in months to really think about anything except Andy. And uh, I began to realize how much I have to thank you for. You don't have to thank me for anything. Well, I know I don't have to, but you deserve to be thanked. You were always willing to give advice to John and to me when we needed it. Well, thank goodness that's over. I don't want to belabor this, but considering our spotty history, I certainly would have understood if you had turned your back on us, and I'm grateful that you didn't. I know you also have been having trouble with, with your back injury. How are you feeling? I, I feel better after my vacation. Oh, good, I'm glad. But where'd you go? What'd you do? How about that cup of coffee? Susan has a lot of work to catch up on. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you know, as soon as Andy comes home, we're going to have uh, friends and some family in, so I, I really hope you'll join us. Okay. Well, I'm glad Mac's going to be okay. Did you ever hear from Brian? You know, I'll bet the person that showed up so late the other night was Beatrice, and now they're just working things out. Yeah, I hope so, too, Lisa. Well, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. You know, I doubt very much that Beatrice would show up at Brian's after midnight, especially with the kids. You know, Duncan, if you and I were having problems, I would show up any time of any day or night to work things out with you. Well, that's nice, but I still think it's more likely that it was Barbara who interrupted Lisa's phone call. Why do you always think the worst of men like Gavin and, and De Brian? Why do you always assume the best? Well, I guess that's just a perfect example of our being, what's that saying, opposites attracting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, at least we're agreed on that. <sighs> Want some more iced tea? No. This isn't exactly the picnic I had in mind, you know. Somebody had to stay by the phones, and I kind of felt like Franny and Sean needed some time alone, so... What say we have a delightful romantic supper up on the knoll? Oh, Lassie, I'd love to. You know, but I got a call earlier, and it, my appointment with Lombard has been rescheduled for tomorrow morning, mm. so I have to drive to Marion tonight. Boo, boo. I'm glad that came through, though. I know you wanted it to. I... Um, you know, I dropped by Emily's earlier today to see if I could get some tips on how to handle Lombard. <laughs> and while I was there, I learned something very interesting. Well, Emily got a phone call while I was there from some fella named Gavin Kruger. Guess who's coming to Oakdale next month? Really? Oh, great! You know, when you meet him, you're gonna give up this silly jealousy. Oh, I don't know. I, I asked Emily what she thought about Gavin Kruger, and she said she thought he was the most intriguing man she ever met. Yes, but you forget one big difference, my darling, between Emily and me. I am married, and I am madly in love with my husband. It's a good thing, you know. It's so beautiful here, and peaceful. Makes all my problems seem like they're miles away. I'm just glad to see you so relaxed. Well, won't last for long. I'm sure Gail is now in New York, sitting there, cooking up diabolical ways to destroy my life. But you're standing up to Gail, and that is great. Oh. Not as noble as you make it sound. I'm just gonna go broke if I have to up the ante anymore. I guess there's one good point about this whole thing. If I do lose the court case, there won't be Don't anything left Don't you dare to talk take. about losing, Sean. It's not gonna happen. And you and Courtney are gonna be dragged through this whole thing? Oh. Sean, do you remember when... when you didn't want me to say anything to Mom and Dad about this whole Gale thing? Well, they have been nothing but supportive ever since they found out. And, and the same thing with all of your colleagues and, and every one of your clients. No, everyone's been great. So you don't have anybody else to worry about 
except me and Courtney, and we are behind you 100%. What did I do to deserve you, huh? You're just a lucky guy, I guess. And you are also the most loving and honest man that I know. You're so incredible, Sean. I... You may think that I'm really naive, but I believe that our legal system really works. And if you're as truthful in court as you have been with me, then there's just no way that we can lose. Donna, Gail found your letters. She made copies. She's threatening to take me to court for palimony and have you testify. Oh, please, don't panic. I promise I won't let the truth out. I'll find a way to stop her. Hillshire Farm Light Smoked Sausage and Posca Kielbasa brand. Same smoke flavor. Hillshire Farm Light with 25% less fat. Introducing a big new idea from Johnson & Johnson. I am stuck. Band-Aid brand Sesame Street bandages come with a softer pad that covers and protects my kids' cuts with Big Bird and Cookie Monster on every bandage. I am stuck on Band-Aid brand because Band-Aid stuck on me. <gasps> a wart makes it difficult to express yourself with your hands. Clear Away Wart Remover removes warts faster than Compound W Liquid. Our medicated disc dissolves the wart while the cover-up disc conceals it. Clear away from Dr. Scholl's, conceals as it heals. You don't have to get on your knees to keep your toilet clean. Just use this, my 2,000 flushes. It's so easy. All you do is put it in your tank. It helps keep your bowl fresh and sparkling clean automatically with every flush, up to four months. That's because 2,000 flushes has chlorine. Bleaches away stains with every flush for up to four months. Try my 2,000 flushes. Cleans your toilet with every flush. Well, as horrible as it is from poor Mac, I, I think you kind of realized how important teaching is, how satisfying it can be. Yeah, not to mention the extra dough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, maybe we should wait until then to think about it. No way, no way. I don't want to get an ulcer thinking about you driving around in that piece of junk. I just wish we didn't have to settle for a second hand. Well, there's other things we need, you know. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hi. Hey, how's Mac? Oh, he's gonna be fine, thanks to Casey and Do. Good. Look, I came by to get that lunch I missed earlier. Oh, well, I'll hitch up some lasagna. No, huh? don't you dare. I can do it myself. Okay, I better check on my kids. Apparently. The lasagna's in the oven. Just turn on low. Oh. Actually, you know, I came by to deliver this will. Just wanted to be, me to bring it over so you could look it through and give me any changes you want to put in it. Oh, okay. You mind looking at it now? I, this kind of stuff makes Lila a little squeamish. Sure, yeah. Want to get to the section on uh, organ donation? Uh, I didn't, didn't realize you were going to do that. Well, you know, as a doctor, I see a lot of people that could have been saved by organ donation. There's a real shortage. At least some of my parts are still in working order. <laughs> you know, actually, that is a really good idea. I should have Jess put a clause like that in my will. I'll talk to Tom about it, too. Good. This looks like everything's in order. You want to turn to the page regarding guardians. Okay. I should be here at the top. Right there. All right. You want to read it back to me, see if it sounds okay? Well, okay. Casey, of course we will. Well, I'm sorry I didn't ask you first, but I figured if you objected, we could have it deleted. No, 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 not at all. I'm very, I'm very flattered. Good, good. If anything happens to Lila or me, I want Kate to grow up in a real family. And with Leanne and Adam and the new baby, hopefully coming someday soon, you guys fit the bill. 
But you better get cracking, because your mom and stepdad are going to beat you to the Lamaze class. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you realize that if our ideas for Kruger fly, Snyder and Whoa! Anderson are going to be the hottest team in town? I thought we already were. <laughs> I mean, in the boardroom, not just the... Say, I got an idea. What? Why don't we go back to the yacht and celebrate that call from Kruger? What call from Kruger? He just called from Hong Kong to confirm what Jim told me. Doing a quick yeah. tour of his Far East holdings and is going to be coming through Oakdale in mid-June. Wants us to set aside some time for him. Really? Mm -hmm. What else did he say? Well, he doesn't like the image that his American division has. Doesn't think it's strong enough. Needs some work on it. <laughs> this room man who avoids the press like a play. I don't care about his public life. I just want this account and I told him we'd knock his socks off. Okay. Get on the phone to New York. Let's get some top PR people. Well, I got a better idea. Why don't you give the ball to Ellie? Let her run with it. Ellie is occupied. She's busy with Simply Barbara. No, New Lucinda, it's not a problem for me. I can handle it. I really want a chance with Kruger, please. PR is Ellie's specialty. She's done a great job with Simply Barbara, and I'll be around to help her if she needs it. Aren't you going to Maine to visit your kids? Yeah. Why? Perhaps you'd like to postpone, considering this new development. No, Lucinda, that's not necessary. Kirk doesn't need to postpone his plans. Everything is going fine with Simply Barbara. I've got the new magazine all set up, and I can do the preliminary work for Kruger. It's not a problem. Oh, it's, it's so good that I didn't take more than a morning off, or I would come back here and find you and your shadow were running my company. <laughs> I'll be in my office. Why don't you let up on her? Oh, what does that mean? It means why don't you cut out all the references to my little shadow and all that other garbage. She's her own person. It's time you gave her credit. Why does it bother you so much? Why does it bother you? I'll it's more to the point. It bothers me. It bothers me because the two of you are mooning around at each other more than you're doing any work around here. You're too fond of each other. At least with Iva, she wasn't in my office drinking my champagne and distracting you every Ellie minute. doesn't distract me. And if I recall, it was two weeks ago, you were thanking Ellie for bringing the old Kirk back again. If I didn't know you better, I'd think you were jealous. I told Jim he could call you on your private line. You mind if I pick it up? Pick it up. Hi, Jim. Uh, just a minute. May I, may I ask who's calling? Ah, I see. Okay. One second. Some guy's calling, wants to talk to you, and he wouldn't give his name, but it sure sounds like Larry Wagner. I wish the person who put those tires on the playground had to wash my kids' clothes. So much dirt and tire smut. I gave up until Tied with Bleach. Colors are bright with Tied with Bleach. Each gets it gleaming white. It brings back the brightness and newness. Thanks, Marlene Burgett. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tied. Come on in. Feel the fluffiest softness ever. Come on in, it's fluffy soft. Soft, soft is feeling, only Downy has the feeling. Downy rinses in the most softness of any fabric softener. You can see the difference. Downy softness is fluffy softness. Come on in, it's April Fresh. Downy feeling, fluffy feeling. April Fresh Downy softens best in liquid and dryer sheets. Come on. Wesson's meant the best in frying for 75 years, and it just keeps getting better. Wesson vegetable oil is my old favorite. All natural, cholesterol free, that's not exactly old fashioned. Wesson corn oil is part of our low fat, low cholesterol diet because we're concerned about reducing cholesterol. Wesson sunflower oil is 89% saturated fat free. That's right for the way we live. Wesson vegetable, corn, and sunflower oils. With every bite, you know you're eating right. Oh, this salad is great. Oh, hmm, this is sensational. You know, I, well, it's too penis. I tell you what. Oh, bacon. <coughs> Even better. Bacony Bacos makes every bite better. <laughs> Lunchables lunch combinations. Fresh meats and cheeses with crisp crackers. So attack a stack of Monterey Jack, pile on bologna, salami, or Colby, add chicken and wheat, and your lunch is complete. Lunch, 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 it's Lunchables. From Oscar Mayer. So, did you get a chance to talk to Courtney before she left for school today? No, I missed her. Ellen told me she was very quiet at breakfast. You know, I think it really upset her after you 
blew up at her last night. Hey, I admit I overreacted a little, but I, I don't think it's right to condone her skipping school so she can go spy on Gail. Sean, Courtney loves you very much. She was just trying to help. You're a smart girl, you know that. Good looking, too. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Hi. Hello. You guys headed back to the main Um, I uh, know. Actually, I'm just gonna see Duncan off. He has an interview with Phil Lombard tomorrow, and he has to leave tonight. Oh. Perhaps you two can convince her to come with me. Oh, Duncan, I've already told you I have too much work with Colin. <sighs> now, don't start in on poor Colin. I'm afraid I have to agree with Duncan, Shannon, about poor Colin. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, sir. I, for one, and you should be glad for this, don't believe in condemning a man after one mistake. Oh, here, here, I can relate to that. <laughs> Listen, if you're talking about Gail, I want you to know that the Argus is at your disposal to air anything you care to, your side of the story. Lucinda already offered me the same thing in the City Times. I think I'm gonna keep a low profile, okay? Well, I understand. Well, you do what you have to, but the offer still stands. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. You going back to the mainland? Uh, yeah, I think I'll say goodbye then. Okay, get a little oh. more lipstick on your lips there. <laughs> we'll be at the dark. Bye. Don't fall in. So when will I see you tonight? Oh, gosh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I need to spend some time with my parents, but um, it shouldn't take long. I mean, I, I think they would like to be alone. So. Yeah, they'd like to be alone. Why don't you stay at my house tonight? I thought you'd never ask. Well, it's a standing offer. Grandmother, this is so beautiful. Well, a one-piece bathing suit is all the rage oh. this year. Besides, it's going to hide your scar. Yes. <laughs> well, darling, did you hear uh, how Duke saved Max's life? Yes, Father told me, of all people. You know, he called Duke a real hero. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I knew your father would come around, but it would just take him some time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tell me. How are you feeling about Duke? Oh, he is so incredible. Yeah. And one of the good things about this accident was that it took the focus off of sex. Oh. I mean, we just get together and we talk and we don't have all the pressures. And I'm just a little nervous about how I feel once I get out of the hospital. I mean, I won't be able to buzz the nurse every time I get anxious about it. <laughs> I'm sure you can handle it just fine. Mm -hmm. If you have a problem, you can always buzz your granny. Aww, <laughs> thank you. Well, Kim! Hello. Hi, hi darling. Oh, hi. You. Hello, you darling oh, girl. How are you? So oh, nice to see fine. you. How are you, sweetheart? Yeah, how's Andy? Oh, he's doing as, as well as can be expected under the circumstances. Um, yeah, um, you know, he, he gave me his car. I know he did. I'm glad. He's trying to do everything he can to make up for his actions. Yeah, well, I told him that all I want is for him to be okay. Well, that's all any of us want for him. That's why John and I have concentrated so much energy and time on Andy's problems. Mm. Yeah, well, at least now he's at a place where he can get help. Kim, I've been really worried about Grandfather. I mean, he looks so tired, and, and he just doesn't seem like his old self. But uh, I'm sure he's a lot better now that you're back. Hey, Thomas. Hi, I expect to see you back here. Well, I didn't get a chance to visit with Mac or Liam when I was here before, so you want to go with me? Well, I'm still waiting to talk to Dad. You've been waiting here all this time? Yeah, you believe that? I'm starting to get the feeling he's trying to avoid me. Oh. Wow, I can't believe it. That was a guy from Lucy's paper? He wants to do a story about Mac for tonight's edition. Oh, <laughs> no. Listen, I want to ask you something. Sure, anything. My work is piling up, and with Casey out, I really need some help. It's not as exciting as saving a life, but you might find it interesting. <laughs> well, sure, I don't know the computer half as well as Casey, but I'll give it a shot. Great. Come on. Well, my son the surgeon. I never got a chance to ask you, where did you spend your vacation? I was at the Foxwood Lodge. Margo, do you know anything about Bob going up to visit Susan Stewart at the Foxwood Lodge? Yeah, he said it was some sort of medical emergency, something to do with a back injury. Back injury? Yeah. I thought that was over long ago. Well. Excuse me. So, so any, anyway, so um, I told him that you would feel the same way about being Katie's guardian, and uh, so I said yes. Hello. Hi, 
Yeah. We just saw the Ann. It's such good news. She's going to be coming home soon. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty happy myself. <laughs> hey, oh, that almost written you off. How's oh, that feeling? Resting comfortably, thank you. I'm just going home to get some things to bring back to him. Oh, I'll drive you. That's okay, Ellen. I'll take Mom. No, oh. Bob, I know you took the rest of the day off so that you could have some time with Kim, didn't Mom, you? Mom, I insist. For all you've done for me, taking care of me while Kim was away, it's the least I can do. Well, in that case, I do have to see Iva about the AIDS ball. Son, I'm sorry uh, we didn't have our talk. Will you give me a rain check? Uh, sure. Yeah. I'll see you at home. Not everyone knows this, Shirley, but your mom wasn't always this smart. Why? Because I used to think to get my dishes really clean, I had to use stuff that was rough on my hands. Boy, was I wrong or what? Why? Because now I've got ivory liquid. Ivory got this greasy casserole dish clean, but it didn't dry my hands. So? Clean dishes, soft hands. Why? Why? Because? Because, 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 why, because, why, because, why, because, why, because. Ivory liquid, where clean and soft go hand in hand. Oh, it tastes too good. Tastes too good to be, but it's not. I don't believe it. Tastes too good to be, you know what? Who are you trying to kid? Tastes too good to be, but it's true. Tastes too good to be good for you. Nah. Much too good to be. Mm -hmm. Leave it to Lewis Rich to be. Forget it. Way too good to be, so fat free. Lewis Rich smoked turkey ham. Tastes too good to be, 95% fat free. Tastes too good. In a recent study of couples, social scientists found that a full 50% prefer a squeeze to a pat. Of those who prefer a pat, 35% still like an occasional squeeze. So we're introducing squeezable I Can't Believe It's Not Butter. The only squeezable spread flavored with sweet cream buttermilk for a fresh butter taste, but without the cholesterol to spoil the romance. So give your special someone a good healthy squeeze. I Can't Believe It's Not Butter, the taste you love without the cholesterol. Oh, aren't those pretty. I picked them specially for you, Kim and Bob's house. Mm -hmm. This time next year, we'll be in a house of our own with a garden full of flowers. After today, I don't care where I live, just as long as you're there. Oh. Treat how when I was choking on that dumb cookie, my whole <sighs> life flashed before me. You were the one thing I couldn't bear to leave behind. I'd like to know what you thought you were doing eating a cookie. Sweetheart, I know it, it's not on my diet, but I think I've been punished enough, don't you? So, can you spare the lecture? No lecture. I'm just going to sit here with you and count my blessings. I can't remember. Have I told you lately that I love you? And I love you. Mm-hmm. Well, Matthew, have fresh flowers in the bed. Uh, you know what, Matthew? Missed the orchids in the bathroom, and I'd like some wonderful chilled champagne ready for me when I get back. And some smoked salmon for the doctor. And some smoked salmon for Dr. Dixon. Hello. 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 What brings you here? Well, I thought I'd stop by and try to make some plans for this evening. Oh, well, as you heard, I was making a few plans myself. As I, uh, yes, I gather. Yeah. I do have to stop by the hospital That's briefly, all right. You do whatever you have to do. It's right. good to have you back here in my arms. That is yes. good. Nice. Oh, no! Go away! I'm yeah. busy! Mm. I... Excuse me, didn't you hear me? Yeah, I think you're gonna wanna hear this, though. Ambrose called my office because he said your private line was busy. Apparently, the interview with Philip Lombard is back on, but you have to get to the penitentiary at Marion by early tomorrow morning, which means you have to leave tonight. Hey, here's the supplies you wanted. Thanks. You okay? Yeah, I'm just a little tired. Must have been some vacation, huh? I think you need another to recover from it. You seen Bob around? Oh, no, he took off a while ago. I guess he wanted to rush home to see Mrs. Hughes to make up for lost time. Well, hi. 
Hi. Been a long time. Did you get your mom home okay? Yeah. Yeah, she uh, wanted to pack a few things for Mac. I uh, brought her home. Huh. Well, Franny called. She said she's going to stop by and give us a quick hello. And then she's having dinner tonight with Sean and Courtney. Which means that it's just you and me and Chris tonight. Once we tuck him into bed, looks like we're finally going to get that night alone that we've been trying so hard to have. You know, I just saw him. He's, uh, he's in the backyard with Joyce. I thought maybe we could take him over to the park. I mean, it's still sunny. Honey, maybe you'd better tell me what's really wrong. Why you don't seem to want to be alone with me. It's days like this when I just want to cut all my hair off. Oh, come on. Yeah, your hair always looks good. I mean, yeah. really good. What do you use on it? You mean shampoo? Yeah. Suave? Swap. Uh-huh. Great. What? Meanwhile, I'm buying the most expensive things I can get my hands on. <laughs> you know, that sounds so much like you. I know. What is wrong with me? Yeah, so you really like Swab best, huh? I yes. really do. Suave. When you know beautiful hair doesn't have to cost a fortune. A tampon's got to give you protection. It's a fact. For dependable protection, choose Playtex tampons. Only Playtex has a double layer design. It's great protection. Playtex tampons, the protection to choose. When you know the facts. I'm dreaming of summer, cool breezes, fresh air. When I want that feeling, summer's eve takes me there. It's clean, fresh feeling, keeps the good times on my mind. Summer's eve brings back freshness anytime. This used to be me, can you believe it? I want you to see the overweight me that I used to be. I'm Mel Torme, and I lost 35 pounds in eight months, thanks to Ultra Slim Fast. The plan is easy. Just have two chocolate shakes daily and a well-balanced dinner. I tell you, Ultra Slim Fast Chocolate Royale is a weight loser's delight and a chocolate lover's dream. Shadoobadee, I kind of like the new me. Ultra Slim Fast. Give us a week. We'll take off the weight. You want to protect your children from harm, but can they protect themselves? Don't let him know. I'll go call for help. A salute to Safe Kids Week on Rescue 911, Tuesday. Nobody move! Jake is caught in a crossfire of a Chinatown gang war on the season finale of Jake and the Fat Man at a special time, Wednesday at 8. Then the Equalizer's Edward Woodward at Magnum's John Hillerman just teamed up. One thing bothers me. <laughs> Only one. Hands of a Murderer, Wednesday. Stay tuned for Guiding Light, next on most of these CBS stations. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns. This is...